Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk in detail about xylem. So let us try to understand the structure of xylem. So xylem are mostly dead cells. So the cells of xylem are not living. Now this xylem in turn is also made up of many different elements or you can say there are many different parts of xylem. So this consists of tracheids and vessels. So these tracheids and vessels, they are the real vessels as the name suggests, they, this is how they look like. So you see vessels are little wider tubes whereas tracheids are comparatively slender tubes with tapered ends. So structure wise they are different even if you get deep into their functionality so you will be able to find some differences between them but as of now at this level you really do not need to know so much details but just to tell you that in xylem these are the most important elements because they help in the actual process of transport so these are tubular structures like tubes just that this is little wide and this is comparatively uh, narrow tube so they conduct water and minerals vertically and thus helps in upward movement of water and minerals. The next element are xylem parenchyma. So this is how they look. So xylem parenchyma are again another cell which helps in storage of food. So they help to store food. Because storing food is also important, right? Because end of the day, uh, they also need some amount of food to do their job. And xylem fibers. So xylem fibers are just to provide support to these xylem vessels because they need enough mechanical support to be there. So the main, most important function of xylem that is conduction is performed by tracheids and vessels which are tubular structure and therefore helps in upward movement of water and minerals. So these tracheids and vessels both of them are held full in conduction in case of flowering plants and in case of non-flowering plants uh, these uh, tracheids are more useful. Let us look at phloem now. So these phloem are living cells like in case of xylem they are all dead but phloem are all living cells except phloem fibers. So let us look at the various elements of phloem sieve tubes as the name suggests these are again tubular structure which is going to help in uh, transportation of food so these are tubular cells with perforated walls that is their walls have holes or tiny pores and through these pores they actually help in communicating with the other sieve tubes or with the other cells and that's how it helps in transportation of food next is companion cells so as you can see here, these cells are the companion cells which regulates the metabolic activities of sieve tube elements. So these sieve tubes are actually supported by the companion cells. Then you have phloem parenchyma which is again used for storage of food. Now parenchyma cells, whether it is xylem parenchyma or, or phloem parenchyma, they help in storage of food. And the fibers, they provide mechanical support. Like how in case of xylem also you had the xylem fibers to provide mechanical support. Here also phloem fibers support mechanically. So in this case, the actual job of conduction is done by the sieve tubes along with the companion cells. So this is how the structure of xylem and phloem looks like. You will study about their structures in more detail in your higher classes. So what are the things that are conducted by these sieve tubes? So they conduct food, they also conduct amino acids, they also conduct hormones. So these are some of the things which are conducted by the sieve tubes of phloem. So let us have a quick comparison of xylem and phloem. So in case of xylem it is always unidirectional transport because the transportation happens from roots to other parts of the plant. So therefore the movement of or the transport will always happen in the upward direction. But in phloem it is bidirectional transport because the trans sport has to happen from leaves to various part of the plant. In xylem it, it deals with transport of water and minerals. In phloem it deals with transport of food and nutrients. Xylem cells are all dead tissues but phloem cells are living tissues. 
So location wise xylem occurs at the center of vascular bundle whereas phloem occurs on the outer side. So if you look at the cross section of the plant stem what you can see is you see xylem occurs towards the inner side whereas the phloem always occurs towards the outer side. So that's how their location is also different. Now, if you, I mean, if you actually want to understand how exactly this conduction happens, let me give you one example of conduction by xylem. Let us suppose this is your soil and soil contains water. It also contains minerals, which are important for the plants. So how are these water and minerals absorbed from the soil with the help of root hairs of the plant? Now, once these have been observed by, absorbed by the root hairs, then it gets into the xylem vessels of roots. So the xylem vessels of roots will actually carry or transport these water and minerals. And then these xylem vessels of roots will carry them to the xylem vessels of stem. From the xylem vessel of stem, the vessels and tracheids will carry them. Vessels and tracheids are nothing but the xylem vessels again. So they will carry them to the leaf veins. So that is how you see every part of the plant will have their own set of xylem vessels that is vessels and tracheids. Then these vessels and tracheids will actually help to conduct the water and minerals from roots to the leaves. So that's how conduction happens with the help of xylem and phloem vessels. So based on whatever we have studied so far, if we take this example of uh, this plant, so what can we say? Xylem and phloem are basically vessels, that is they are tube-like structures which help to conduct between various plant parts. So when we talk about xylem, it only helps in transport of water and minerals in this direction, that is from roots towards the leaves. But in case of phloem, it is a bi-directional transport. So from leaves, it also transports downward towards the roots and from leaves, it also helps to transport upwards towards the higher branches and leaves. So that is the overall uh, function of xylem and phloem. And structure wise, the, only that element of xylem and phloem actually help in conduction which are tubular structures. Like in case of xylem, vessels and tracheids help and in case of phloem, it is the sieve tubes in case of phloems who help in real conduction, sieve tubes along with the companion cells. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.